Hi guys, welcome back to another episode. Anyway, today I am gonna be sharing with you my tips on how to plan a totally productive and amazing day in less than five minutes or less than the time it takes to drink your morning coffee. Hi everyone, if you have just landed here, then hello, <laughs> my name is Rebecca. I am the founder of Rebecca It's London. We make personalized stationery prints and tools to help encourage and inspire, and we are on a mission to help you achieve your goals in style. I'm obsessed with all things goal setting, motivation, productivity, and mindset. So these videos have been made to help give you actionable advice you can implement every single day to help you have better, amazing days. If you do stick around to the end of this video, I will also be sharing with you one more bonus hack, which is when to plan your days. So let's dive straight in today because we are talking five minutes to plan amazing days. So I'm gonna be using to illustrate the great day ahead to-do list um, planner pad. You don't need to use one of these. If you want to follow along this video, a notebook or anything like that is absolutely fine. This is just gonna be for illustrative purposes of how I break this down. Tip number one, planning in your top three priorities. This is probably the most important thing. If you've seen any of my videos before, I often talk about three things every day which help you move closer to your goals. That is your number one consistent actions you wanna take every single day. So first part of planning a great day is to get really clear on what those three priorities are, write them in and make sure you actually do them. Number two, your to-do list. Okay, so in here, your to-do list, and I always like to mix in um, business, uh, work, and also life admin into my to-do list. Everything that you've really gotta get done today. Not as important though as your top priorities. Part three, planning out your day. I'm a real fan of time blocking, but time blocking in a way that doesn't take forever. So I don't want you to spend ages <laughs> deciding exactly how long I'm gonna take to do different tasks but I would start with your top priorities and go, right, for example, if one of your priorities was doing a content plan for next month, planning in exactly when you're gonna do that and how long it's gonna take you. If you wanna put aside time to do your Pinterest, for example, setting aside, this is the time I'm gonna do this. Scheduling your time for exercise and breaks is also a really useful way of using this. When we block out time, we make ourselves more accountable and we just, like if we give ourselves a task to do on afternoon, say like, oh, write an article, we could probably take all afternoon doing it. If we said, I'm gonna write an article in two hours, then, and then I've gotta do something else, even if you hadn't finished, you'd probably make just as much progress in those two hours because you're giving yourself that deadline to do it by. My fourth tip for you is to actually, if you've got it in a notebook or you're using this pad, is to keep this pad by your desk or literally stick it next to your computer. Because our fourth tip is around accountability. You wanna make sure that you are accountable for your day ahead. And that is literally it. It doesn't need to get any more complicated than that. What are your top priorities? What else have you got to do? And when are you gonna do it? Like planning your days, planning productive days doesn't need to be that complicated. It doesn't need to take forever. Um, it just needs to be as simple as that. Keep it next to you as well to keep you accountable or on your desk. I also wanna share this quick bonus hack as well, thanks for staying to the end, um, around when you should plan your day. Now, this for me was an absolute game changer because it just completely has transformed my productivity is when you plan your day ahead. And I plan my day ahead, but I plan my next day the night before. So rather than waking up on the morning and going, right, okay, what am I doing today? How am I gonna plan it? And wasting this like precious time in the morning when I've got most energy and concentration and focus, I gotta do it the night before. So looking at my, my to-do list for the previous day, what do I need to move over? What do I get rid of? And then saying, right, what am I gonna focus on tomorrow? So the next day you can wake up and get straight to it and you know exactly what you're gonna be working on. If you want even more support as well, I've got some great free resource for you. It's my top 25 productivity hacks, tips and tricks, which you can download on the link below. I share with you loads of really good actionable advice in there. Everything from looking at how you structure your days and we go into more detail on this. And also things like how to manage your time, your energy, some top things on how to get more focused. There's so much content in there. You're gonna absolutely love it. Totally free to download and you can do it on the link below.